Alright guys, my name is Daryl Wilson with DX Decor Graphics and Design representing Sublimation and More Facebook group. Today I'm going to show you how to make this iPhone or any phone template that you can change the photo of the inside as well as change the background of the images so you can lay them or display your mock-ups on different backgrounds with different images in the center of the uh, the phone case as well. So, with that said, let's get started. First we'll need to find a template or a image to edit so we can make our mock-up template. Um, what you just need to do is search for something like, I think I search sublimation cases. And just find one you like. Um, the bigger the image, see where this one says 323 by 323. I personally wouldn't pick that one, it's too small. This one's a little bit better, but it'll be kind of a little difficult to get that out where it already has one in it. The easiest ones are white <coughs> like this one. It's 800 by 600. It would be a good one. Or I think the one that I am going to use in this tutorial will be this one. It's 500 by 500 which is okay. Probably this one up here. Let me use this one up here. The one that was 800 by this one right here. 800 by 600. It'll be a lot better. A lot easier. So just whenever you find one click and save it to your desktop you can't find one on this page you can always click on one like this one and hit view more it'll give you more like it okay so let's grab this image and drag it into Photoshop this one has guides so it'll go to view and clear guides and then I'm going to crop it just crop this one out it's angled different and it'll be a little more harder to get this insert out is doable, but a little bit more difficult. So let's just crop it out for now. And then first we need to make this background layer editable. You can either um, double click on it, the layer and hit OK with the box that comes up or you can click and drag the lock layer to the delete bin. Either way. Okay, the first thing we need to do is delete the background of this one, the white, by clicking and holding on this tool here, which is a quick select tool, or you could already have your magic wand selected. Either one, um, get your magic wand, click on the background, and hit delete. This will only work if you have a solid background, work best anyway, if you have a solid background of white or one color. Then hit Control D to des deselect the background. Now we need to do the same to the insert or the inside of the where your picture is going to go. And use your magic wand to also if it's a um, solid color. So just click inside of it. What we want to do with this one is copy and paste. So if you hit Control J, it'll copy and paste it above it. Alright, and then go back to your, let's name this one, case template, and name this one insert template. So go back to your case layer, select the, the inside of it ag again, and then hit backspace to delete it. It appears nothing has happened, but what has actually happened is it's deleted the inside and then the insert template is laying on top of it which is where your image will go that you want to display so I'm just going to show you what I mean by going to my other one and then just dragging in one of these images that I've already already have you just want to drag in any image that you have that you want to display and no 
I'm going to size this down to my phone case. Hit enter. Um, I hit control T, which is transform, to size it. And then, while you're selected on your image layer, hold alt, and then click in, in between the two layers, which is your insert layer and your image layer. And this will make a clipping mask inside of the image. Alright. So that's how to do that one. Then all you need to do is have a background, just any background that you that you have. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Well, you don't want it to be your <laughs> inside your clip, so um, hover in between of them. If you, this happens to you, and click again in between the two the two layers, and it'll take it off the clipping mask. Drag it to the bottom and I would probably size this one down because it's pretty big and then just place it where you want it if you want to uh, make the phone smaller because it's pretty big for this for this image um, get your top layer and then shift hold shift and click on the case this will select all three of them then hit control T and then just size it down to whatever size you would like that um, you think will work for you about right there and then we would need to make the shadow through or the reflection on the bottom like it is in this one you might be able to see it on this let me change the change the background so you can be able to see it a little bit better see how it has a shadow here that gives the illusion that it's reflecting off of the the table in this instance so how you do this is select your top layer and your case select all three layers by selecting the top then hold shift and selecting the case template so select all three click and drag them down to the new layer icon right here and then what you want to do is make this these three into one image by selecting all three of them. Right click and go to merge layers. Okay. And then while you have this one selected, you want to hit control T and then right click, flip vertical. Alright, now it's upside down. If you hold shift and then use your down arrow keys, it'll move it down. Then you want it like right at the bottom of your other one uh, right there alright so now you need to make the fade effect how you do this is selecting the shadow layer, let's name this one shadow then making a layer mask which is this icon right down here we probably can go to layer layer mask then apply and that will apply it to the, the the layer that you have selected once you have that selected make sure this white area is selected and make sure your palette are black and white then go to your gradient tool make sure this up here is black to no color and then if you click and drag up. If you hold shift to drag it up into a straight line, you'll start to fade it away. So once you have it the way you like, you can turn down the opacity. This will kind of blend it in a little bit more, just to make it a look like it's a shadow. <coughs> and basically that one's done. So you'll probably say that that was easy because it was a white background and a white insert layer which is the smartest way to go if you can because it would take the less time and it's the, it is the easiest way but let me sh show you how to do it if you don't have a white insert like this one this one still has a white background but it's basically the same 
So it's unlocked that layer by clicking the lock and drag it down or double clicking it and then a dialog box will come up and then just hit OK. So first let's delete the background layer just like we did last time. Alright, now we need to do the insert. This time we can't do the magic wand because it won't select each piece the way that we want it to. So in this instance, we will use the quick select tool. This tool isn't perfect, but it's quick. So go up here to your magic wand, click and hold down, and you'll see quick select tool. And then make your brush size a little bit bigger by doing the bracket keys. So left and right bracket key will make it smaller or bigger. And then just click inside the template here. Okay now that you see that it has the marching ants and it has not selected this piece which we do not want selected but it has selected this piece so we need to take it out of that piece okay let's zoom in by hitting control T make our brush size smaller by the left bracket key and then hold alt and that minus sign inside of the circle means it will take it away from the current selection. Okay, so it's basically like that. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. What I'm going to do is this little piece right here needs to be back selected. Alright, that looks pretty good. Oh, wrong button. I need to select that back, or deselect the back actually, by holding Alt. And there you go. Alright, okay. And this is it. Alright, now that you got it selected, the piece that you want, hit Control J. And now you have copied it onto its own layer. Alright. Now we need to delete it off of the case layer. Let's name this a case template like we did last time and name this one insert template. So now we need to delete it outside of this template or case layer. So you can go back and select it all again and do all that again, or you can hold control and then click on the insert template layer and it'll bring your marching ants back. And then click on your case template and then hit your backspace to delete it. It appears though you have not done anything, but you actually have because if you take the eye off of this, we actually forgot some pieces. One right here, and then one right here. So we need to actually delete that. Hit Control D for deselect, and get your erase tool. Case template is selected, and then just erase them out. But we need to add them back in on here. See what's right here? Doesn't have a <coughs> anything. Then right here, which we need to make this white anyway. So if you click and select that layer again by holding uh, control and clicking on the insert, you'll select it again. Get your brush tool and then just make it one big ass brush. And <laughs> then just paint it so it's white. So you see that it's not doing this part right here and this part right here. If you control D to deselect, and then just click those two pieces. And that's the way you want it. Alright, so now all we need to do is drag in our photo that we want, which I'll use this one. Just click and drag, it's a little small, Control T to transform, or to resize it, size it the way you want it. Do like we did before by holding Alt and clicking the layer below it, and then you can move it to wherever you want. And that is basically it.
you just need to add the shadow and your background which here you can see that it didn't take off this because of the shadow if you had your background that would actually look a little weird so let's drag this background in and I'll show what I mean which we did it again alright let's drag it to the bottom now let's resize this so we see it looks like it's been edited all you have to do is just zoom in since it's just that little bit piece right there you can do one of two things you can either uh, use your erase tool select your case template layer get your erase tool and then just very seldomly just delete it out or very carefully I mean get the idea. Or you could have used your quick select tool and selected it and then deleted it. Or you could have used the magic lasso tool and just made a circle around it and then deleted it. Any of your selection to tools would have worked to do that. So then all you need to do is like you did before is to make the shadow and then you'll be done. And that is how you make a mock-up phone template. And that'd be all for this tutorial. We'll see you next time.